All right, so winter break is officially over. Students in southern New England, they're heading back to class today. For some Massachusetts students, school will look a lot different than uh, when they were last there a couple of weeks ago. Number of districts lifting those mask mandates. Want to check in with reporter Kayla Fish. She is live in Attleboro bringing us the latest this morning. Hi, Kayla. Hey, Danielle and Patrick. Well, starting today, masks will no longer be required inside most southeastern Massachusetts schools. That includes here where we're live this morning in Attleboro, as well as places like New Bedford and Swansea. In fact, more than a dozen school districts in southeastern Massachusetts are making masks optional as of today, February 28th. They are adopting the state guidance that says that. The school committee in Fall River, however, has voted to keep its masks mask requirement through March 14th, according to the Herald News. Now in Rhode Island, masks will be required through the end of this week. After that, it's up to schools to decide how to move forward. Nearly 20 districts, including East Providence, Pawtucket and Woonsocket, for example, have voted to make masks optional after Friday. 12 News spoke with parents who have mixed feelings about the change. I think they need to mask and kids definitely need their mask. They need to mandate this. They need to keep it going. I think it's kind of restrictive, um, but a lot of kids have been are being vaccinated, so it's a little safer, but kids spread germs easily. Now in Providence, masks will still be required for students and teachers and anyone inside the schools after this Friday's deadline. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear from school leaders about why they've chosen to make that decision. For now, live in Attleboro this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. Starting today, masks are going to be optional for students and teachers in a number of Bay State schools. Districts throughout southern New England have been choosing how to move forward. Leaders of Massachusetts and Rhode Island setting expiration dates for these masks mandates. And uh, Kayla Fish, she is live in Attleboro right now, one of those communities where masks no longer required. Yeah, that's right, guys. School's going to look a little bit different for students returning from winter break here in Attleboro. The school committee voted narrowly five to four to lift the mask mandate beginning today. Now, this district joins about a dozen others in southeastern Massachusetts who are choosing to adopt the state guidance, making masks optional beginning today. A number of Rhode Island schools will be doing the same after Friday. That's when the Ocean State's mask mandate is being lifted for schools, but it's a different story in Providence. School leaders say just 35% of eligible pre-K through 12 students in the capital city are vaccinated. The district held two vaccination clinics over the weekend and they're opting to keep masks in place after Friday due to those low vaccination rates. We should all be fed up with it, but you know, at the end of the day, our health is more important than how we're, we're you know, how a mask makes us feel. If it protects us right now, then that's what we're going to do in this district. Now, a number of other Rhode Island school districts still need to decide how to move forward in terms of masking and those requirements. So that includes Bristol Warren and Cranston school committees. They'll both be discussing masking at meetings tonight. We're live in Attleboro this morning. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.